You follow me? You know my main mission is to find the best bang for buck for both of us. Everyone has heard you get what you pay for, but we've also unfortunately experienced when that fell true. We can also say, why pay more than you have to? And that holds true just as often. Now, I've heard from many of you over the years, I need to try BCA, Bear Creek Arsenal. You know, I was told you get the maximum QPC. That's my coin, a phrase, quality, performance, at cost. And, you know, it's huge. We all want the most QPC. Now, I recently tested their 6.5 Grendel. You know, watch it and decide for yourself what you think the QPC is. What I want to do now is I want to check out BCA's 308, and you decide what you think. Here we go. Check this out. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, a lot of folks are looking for an AR-10 for hunting and longer range than the AR-15. BCA offers one of the cheapest. You know, how's the quality? Let's find out. Now, before we get started, let's check out the specs and tech and see what we're starting with. Okay, now just real quick here, I want to show you the lower that comes with the BCA. This is the 308 lower, okay? It, it's really KISS, guys, you know? It, it's kind of square, it's kind of blocky, nothing fancy. Um, the trigger feels pretty classic military mil spec. Okay, we'll just, not bad reset, you know? And I gotta say, the brake is, is pretty crisp and clean with not a ton of creep. You know, I'm guessing around seven. Let's just find out here. I am gonna put a custom trigger in here because I wanna maximize our accuracy to see what we're getting out of the barrel. But before that, let's just see what the, the standard trigger Yep, seven. Seven and a half. Eight. I mean, it's, yeah. Eight, and that's maxed. So it could be a little over eight. Yeah, seven and a half is what I'm guessing. And again, it it's really not a bad trigger. Um... The big thing is, is will it fire anything and everything that we put in it? Um, let's just try some some cheap, hard primer ammo and make sure that we don't have any issues with it. As that. far as furniture, you know, the basics, guys. The good old-fashioned pistol grip, nothing exciting. Same with the collapsible buttstock. You know, I don't even know what they call these anymore. It's, it's been so long. Um, but, you know, it, it's traditional. It's classic. It's KISS. Okay, just a quick note here on the takedown pins. You know, most of us, I think, are going to agree they're, they're usually protrude just a little bit so we can push, okay, and pull out. At least that's what I'm used to on, on all the ARs that I've had. This one, um, it, it's sitting flush, and it's actually recessed, and I'm noticing I can't, I can't really get it. I can't get it out without, okay, you got to get my fingernail in there and then, and then I can get it out. You know, may not be a big deal, but just, you know, something that I noticed and wanted to pass okay, on. It did not come with any mags. Um, I did happen to have a whole bunch of mags that Men2 had sent a while back. I've gone through quite a few of those and included them in reviews. This will be the first one. I'll had a chance to use the SR25. So we've got a nice 10 round, which is perfect. This is what I want for this review with a 10, 10 round for bagging it. There we go. 
we'll find out uh, how this performs. Okay, actually, I just started the the barrel seasoning or the barrel break in, and I, I kind of changed my mind. This is kind of a pain. I, I don't like. I have to use a punch. Um, I tried to use a, a spent cartridge out on the range here, and it just it wasn't getting it enough. So I had to bring it back inside and get a punch to push that out. If you're not now, I have to be honest. I received the upper and lower separately. The idea was to do the upper because I had several lowers, and when I first got it, I wanted to put it on one of those lowers with a custom trigger so I could max out the accuracy and show what the BCA 308 was capable of. It didn't fit my PSA or my APF lowers. Um, in fact, all their AR-10s are first-gen DPMS low profile. So if you're mixing uppers and lowers or want that option later on, you could run into some issues, so pay attention to that. Now I'm going to start off with the stock trigger in this that it came with, and then I'm going to put in a new trigger tech that they sent me for their AR-10s, the Diamond Single Stage. Um, yeah, I, I love trigger techs. I can't wait to do that. By doing this, we're going to eliminate any accuracy issues related to trigger pull, but I also have Rydon's 5 Conquer 5 to 25 by 50 scope on here. This thing is a beast. Um, that's also going to maximize uh, optic accuracy so we really can see what the BCA is capable of. And to top it all off for accuracy, I'm going to use some Hornady Match 168 grain Amax ammo. Special thanks to Hornady for providing the ammo for this review. Now that should pretty much, other than the shooter, eliminate everything other than the gun itself so we can see what the BCA is capable of, what its potential is. Now, fortunately, the shooter on site is a pretty good shooter from what I hear. Now, I'm also going to use some different ammo so you can see how it does with various loads because I think that's important. Every gun uh, can kind of have its preference and be a little picky. And this way we can find out, you know, does the high end work uh, as good as the low end? And is there any low end that performs close to the high end, which could save us some money? Okay, it's really windy. It's not a great day for doing the video or the review, but I am using this time to break in and season the barrel. And I'm using some old military surplus ammo. And we're going starting here at 50, and then we've got some groups down there at 100. I'll just show you kind of how it's going so far. Okay, so the first shot, and then I go and I clean and I polish and I scrub, and then I come back and I do a three shot group, made some adjustments. You know, not exceptional grouping here but this is why I break in and season a barrel is I find that things shrink so I got this good after the three shots went and did the polishing and the scrubbing and the cleaning again and then we're going to move to 100 yards came down here to 100 that was the first shot out of a freshly cleaned and polished barrel and then I had a five shot group you know and that's really not too bad considering where we're at in the break-in process and that it, it's really old military surplus. So what I want to do now is I was using the stock trigger. I want to fire some Tula just to, to see how it does with the stock trigger and firing some steel cased, you know, hard primer. And then I'm going to put in a match trigger and then we're going to, you know, as the barrel's getting a little bit more seasoned, start working on some different ammo and see what we can get for groups. Let's just fire off 10 rounds of Tula, and then we you know we're back to seasoning the barrel and then I'm going to put in the match trigger and we're going to get down to business and see just how tight of groups we can get with this. I was using the Tula at 100 yards. You know, that actually is, is better than I thought it would be. That's not bad. So what I'm going to do now is, you know, we're getting fairly along in seasoning the barrel. I'm going to swap out the triggers. I'm going to put my trigger tech trigger in there. So we've got a match trigger, again, so we can maximize our accuracy and hopefully find out just how small we can go with the Bear Creek Arsenal 308. Real quick here, we got beautiful morning. We're going to try the different ammo. You know, this is what we've got here. We've got the, the write-on. I've got the trigger tech in there. And we're just going to see, you know, what we can do down there at 100. And then when we find the ammo that it likes the best, have some fun up, up there on the steel. Okay, so I'm going to start off. I've got this South Korean military surplus. Okay, 
Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes in between each of the groups um, so that hopefully, you know, the heat isn't a, a major factor. Okay, so now I've got the PPU. This is the M80. That's some good stuff, guys. Um, talk about bright, shiny brass. Anyway, I've had good luck with it. Let's see what we can get for some groups. Okay, so I've got some federal hunting rounds here. Now, I only have eight because... Okay, let's get some of this Hornady match a try. See how uh, see how small we can get. Okay, so the trigger tech has been performing awesome. I've got it dialed down to about two pounds um, and it's been doing really well. What I want to do now, I won't really put it to the test. I'm going to test some Tula ammo and see how that does. Well, we started off putting them in the bullseye and then it kind of spread out all over. But hey, we did fire every last round. Did not have one single issue. That was really kind of the test. That's a thumbs up. If I can show you the FOV that I'm getting, we'll give it a You can see there the groups. So this is what I'm seeing at 100 yards. Okay, so you were looking through the scope with me. Let's just go down and take a closer look at those. All right, guys. So, you know, we started off with the, the military surplus. Um, it did, you know, in its defense, I'd usually get tighter groups, but it did come off a cleaning and a polishing. Okay, and then we moved over to that federal... Uh, basically, you know, M80 ball ammo. Um, <laughs> okay, that was, uh, I think that was that PPU. That's an M80. Holy smokes. Look at it. And there's, there's 10 shots in there. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Absolutely love that. Okay, and then this was our federal hunting rounds, uh, the 180. Uh, I did only have eight rounds, you know, but, eh, you know, that's okay. <laughs> there is all 10 rounds of the Hornady. And that's nice, guys. Guys, I wish I wouldn't have had that, that one flyer there and that flyer. And then almost everything else is touching, you know. That rocks. Uh, that really does. Okay, and then our Tula. And I, I, I had two... In the bullseye, and uh, yeah, that's, you know, I, it's Tula. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing 
If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, so let's check out our FOV at four and five hundred. We'll do the best we can here. So this is one of the advantages of having a first focal plane. That is really dropping. I've got it at the 12. Okay, moment of truth here. And uh, I also got my long shot going. I'll show you that. Um, need to really use that a lot more okay so i got the ppu the m80 in here we've got her dialed up to 12 and a half let's just see uh adjust since i messed with my parallax and let's <laughs> nice. There you go, guys. Nice. Okay. <laughs> that is right spot where my dot was. I kid you not. All right, let's try uh, the 12 incher. Nice. Got a little bit of crosswind. Nice, guys, that's a 12-inch target. I got to say, I'm really impressed. Really, really, truly impressed. Um, I like that. There you go, guys. You know, it is what it is. Um, I will say, I was really surprised. I was really surprised with uh, this rifle. It did a lot better than I expected. Now, I would encourage you to read some of the reviews. Um, you know, some people have had different luck. I, however, this rifle and what I was sent, uh, it's a solid shooter. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed doing it. I hope you found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. This really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time we're on the range getting trigger time, we're an ambassador for the Second Amendment, so be a responsible and safe gun owner.